Okay, I, I want to talk a two things. First of all, I want to say a, a word from the Rabbin Yor, the Sat Maro, on the end of the parasha. But there are tzachus. But we're going to try to find the amkes, find depth. Every word that Tzadikim says, the Tzadikim, they were dogging in Hashem 24 hours a day. Everything they say is, Valeu lo yibo afilu sichas chulin. It's Tzricha Limud, the Gemara says in Sukkot. So we're going to try to understand that joke that Rabbi Neil said. And then we're going to talk about the beginning of the parish and we're going to tie it all in if, if we have enough time. So uh, the, the joke was like this. He said like this, that all the Moadim are in parish of Samuel. Kid, uh, like you see, Shabbos, Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot, everything is there, all the Yom and Tav. Now, there we have now, we have uh, Midra Bonn, and we have another two Yom and Tav, which is Hanuk and Purim. So he says, that's also Merumah's in Pasha Semur. Right after all the mud. And I think this is a Kadmonim say, not Rabbi Nehemiah. Oh, Kadmonim, okay. So they say that, that right after it comes comes the Pasha of, uh, of, of, of Menorah, Right, right after the yeah. modern the parsha menorah, you should uh, you should make shem as aizoch, you should light the nairs, and then so that's keneged chanukah, come move on, and after that comes with lakachta solos of isos hashdem esrei chalos, that's keneged purim. Why? It's purim. You make a suda purim, and then you know suda suda is purim. So that's that's the shteim is rechalos to lechem upon him. You put on that shulchan. That's like a suda samilav. Said Rabbeinu Yehuda, and there's also the yomim tovim of the leumas there of the other side. Right after that, the last part of the parsh is the megadif, the one that cursed. And by Yetze ben Isha Yisraelis, who ben Ishmitzi, so chamak, my not so ben Yisraelis, who is Yisraeli, and he was Megadev. That's Yom Atzmaut, the Megadev, that the Pasuk is Maramas to us. We have all the Yom and Tavim, and we have a Chanukah, we have a Purim, but you should know it's going to come a day that they're going to make a holiday of their own, and that's the Megadev, the one that cursed. That's what he said. Wow, brilliant. It's also a good joke, and it's also brilliant. Now, Adam Gola could say a good joke also, that you should know. And a small person can't say a good joke and doesn't have a sense of humor. Real Tamil Chachomim have a sense of humor also. That's what I, I see, I've seen it many times. And stand not on me, and Amarats in Gemur don't have a sense of humor at all. Even when they think they have, they talk to goat. But, uh, okay, now, I'm saying like this. Let's go back to the beginning of the parsha. The meaning of the parsha, the first meets in the parsha is Tumas Khan. Lenefesh lo yitama be'amov. Any coin, a coin head you toss as a deen, he's not allowed to be metame to a mess. And, and not only does he shouldn't touch the mess, he's not even allowed to be in the same room as the mess, the dead person, because it's also his tummy, because there's a tumor. So, now, the, he's the holy Ishmael's a rabbi, this in the Sefer Beis Yaakov, he says like this. What's the Indian of the Easter of Tumas Mass for a coin? It's upset like this. This is very deep and it's, and it's very Lamaisa. I must not get Lamaisa in everyday life for certain people. What's, what's a coin? A coin is an Ovid. He does a Vodum. He's, 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 he works and he does a vod in the base of Mekta. Now, you might think a vod in the base of Mekta, it's an easy thing. You take the blood, you sprinkle it on the Mizbeh, and you, you cut it up. You do. 
and, and, and once they know how to do it, you learn how to do it. I always think that, I was always thinking to myself, we're going to build a base on Mikdash. We're going to have to do that vote. There's certain people, they're not, uh, how do you say, coordinated. Like I know a certain coin that he's not so coordinated. How's he going to do that vote? He's going to sprinkle the blood. And so he might go like this. He might, he's supposed to go like that, so he'll go like that. He's not coordinated. So how's he going to do that vote? What, so he won't do that vote? I can't be such a thing. So a famous coin in Yerushalayim that I know. So what? So, but, 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 but the, the, the answer is that uh, you have to learn how to do it. Chofetz Chaim, he used to run up and down to, to learn how to be Konim's Rizim. You have to run up the Kevish in the Mizbeah. So, so I'm saying like that. A coin has to, has to be. It's not just the time. If you think of it, there were 24 Mishmaras Kuhunu. Everyone did that vote in one week. That means 24 families. But the truth, each family was a few thousand people. But they came one week. Now, 24, it comes out twice a year they came and did that vote. And so the rest of the year, he's, he sits wherever he is and he lives on other people's guys, but they give him trumas, truma and truma smash, and he lives from that and he has parnas and it. Hopefully he sits and learns day and night. Was he doesn't have to do that vote that much? No, no, says the Ishbitzer, no. A coin is an Oved Hashem. He's somebody who 24 hours a day is in the matzav of a vote. To touch a mess, to be in the room of a mess, that's the opposite of a vote. That's huge. A mess is huge. He was alive. He did. He was energetic. He, he 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 was buying. He was selling. He was talking about how much this cost, how much that cost. He was toast like you say in Hebrew. He was he was cooking. He was bubbling. Now finished. It's all finished. And, uh, and as you might think, uh, uh, let him. Let's try it. Let's let, let let's try it. No, it's not. Let's try to finish. There's no hope. Once he's dead, once the Ruach Chaim went out of him, all this life that he had, all the bubbling that he was bubbling till now, is finished. That's Yush. A mess represents Yush. By living people, there's also such a thing as Yush. To give up hope. Somebody... And we'll soon, soon we'll give examples. That's called use. That's called misa. That's death. To give, giving up hope is death. That's the opposite of a coin. A coin is our ovid. A coin is somebody's worshiping Hashem. He's doing for Hashem. Kainim's rizimim. The Gemara says, a coin is not. Why does he have to be a zoris? He can do that without being a zoris. No, it's rizimim. Why is Rizzi Maim? Because that's what he is. He's somebody who's worshipping, who's being over the Hashem. So there's no such thing as relaxing, as resting. He's being over. To touch a mess, mess is huge. That's the opposite of Avod. So I can't, can't touch a mess. Something like this, a person thinks to himself, I once knew somebody, or I know somebody now, that he was a genius when he was already a young boy. And, and, and at the age of 12, he pulled out a Gemara Chulin and he learned who the Alma Sakhta, Gemara and Rash, he didn't learn Tosh. I'm talking about Bismarneinu, I'm not talking about in the time of the Grot. Bismarneinu. And he learned through the Alma Sakhta because he thought to himself, what? I can only learn Boba Kabba Matthias. Let me try Chulin. And he learned through the whole Chulin. And he understood everything. There's a sugi of Tipas Cholov, and uh, I think it's Kuvov, Kuvzayin. And there's a long rash. He, he understood everything. And he came to Yeshiva Kitana. And they started doing something else. Besides just reading the Gemara, which, which that's what he should have continued doing. There's this shuri. 
adding something to the Gemara. And he started thinking to himself, where am I? What you mean, what I was doing till now is not enough. There's something more. So how am I going to reach that something more? And he started thinking, I think he was a boy that thought. Nowadays, there's, it's very uncommon, a boy, a young teenager that thinks. They all take out their iPhone from their pocket, and they look, and they like, boom, 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 they press buttons here. But, but uh, in those days, there wasn't that. And Baruch Hashem, I don't know, that person doesn't have that nowadays either, but that person was always a thinker, even when he was a young boy. And he was thinking and thinking, so what am I supposed to do? To, 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 to do that which the Rebbe is teaching us, to be like that. Isn't, isn't that what he's teaching us? To become that what he is? To do something else besides just reading the Gemara? And he's thinking and thinking, and he didn't know, how am I going to do it? And then he thought, oh, I guess I can't do it. I better, might as well give up. And then it went by years and years and years, and it had an influence on other things in his life, and all kinds of things happened. Now, they, 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 they I mean, it should have been like Yeshua lived this kind of Yeshua lived this kind, and the Chazanish that never went to Yeshiva. He wouldn't let him go to Yeshiva, Rabbi Nimm and this kind. It might, it might have been, it might have been a good idea. But, but you can't nowadays, you can't do that. You just can't do that. You need chevra, you need, you have to be with people. You know. It's very hard to do that nowadays, right? But, but theoretically, you're right. You're right, yeah. So, so, so what happened? So I'm saying like this. He, he really, that person, he really had the right thoughts. Like, what am I supposed to do? Can I do it? I see I can't. So, so somebody should have told him, who says now you can, but maybe someday, uh, slowly, slowly. But there was nobody there to tell him that. So, so but, but, but according to the situation that he was in, he was right to be me Jewish, to have use. But, the, the Ispitzer is saying, no, you, it's, it's not just a logical husband the way I'm describing it now. It's a midi, it's a yetzahara, it's a certain feeling that's not logical. Why? Because as soon as a person... 1130, As soon as a person feels, I can't, I can't, I can't. Let it be at age 90, let it be. You have to drive away those thoughts no matter what. Somebody's at age, and I read once a Hasidic story, but there was once an old Hasidic Jew that he checked his tefillin when he was 80 years old, and he found a psul in the tefillin. So he started dancing from Simcha. The children thought he was crazy. He finds that your children was possible I means 80 years or 70 or whatever it is. You didn't put on the phone and you're single. So he says, Baruch Hashem, in the end of my life, I'm going to wear kosher at the film for the next few years that I'm going to live. The shot is like this. Look, <laughs> it's a big use, such a thing. You mean, you mean my whole life I've been wearing puzzle at the film? And he found that I... Don't ask me the details of the story, but, but but let's say, you mean my life? That Machshovah's treif on that the Torah says, Lo nefesh lo yitamo ba'amov. We're here to worship Hashem. We're not here to be successful. He he succeeded. He worked filling every day of his life. I mean, we don't look at it that way, but but it is that way. He was succeeded that he worked filling every day of his life. And this person didn't. All you didn't wear film their whole lives, and he didn't. That's that's Treif, that Machshava. And this this Yid was such a Ovid Hashem that he understood this. And he looked at the positive side of it, and 